ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Ako po si Jules Gia, and this is K-Check with another season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Join us until the final week of competition to find out who takes the K-Check win. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. A is a student of UP Diliman. She's taking up home economics. What usually takes up her time are academic work, internship, light workouts, and partying. She enjoys Pinoy hip-hop, piercing, and tattoos. Riri is an entrepreneurship student at San Beda University. Her hobbies are watching movies, bonding with her cousins, and playing with her dogs. She also listens to K-pop group Blackpink. Sunod naman si Allen, na isang Bachelor of Education student at the UP Open University. He is also working part-time as an online tutor and is a fan of Miss Universe. And lastly, LA is a student leader and artist who studies community development. He loves to draw, read books, and do long walks and hiking trips. He also loves to eat ramen and drink a cup of matcha green tea. Of course, these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Unang-una, kasama natin si Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. We also have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And we have a painter, sculptor, film and TV director, critic and multimedia artist, a professor emeritus who teaches film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and communication at the UP Open University, we have Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. At ngayon contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin. This is round one. Question number one. What sweet food do bees produce from flower nectar? Alan. Honey. Honey is correct. Kate Question number two. In what province can you find Baclayan Church and Chocolate Hills? Alan. Bohol. Bohol is correct. Kate How many wheels are there in two bicycles and three tricycles? LA. Uh, 10. 10 is Malay. A? 11. 11 is Malay. Pencil steel. Okay. The correct answer is 13. Di na nakahabol si Didi Saya. Okay. Next question, number 4. How is the official residence of the President of the USA called? Ale. The White House. White House. The White House is correct. Kate check. Question number five. In what sport can a player make a hole in one? Ale. Golf. Golf is correct. Kate check. Question number six. Which member of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has a namesake who painted the Sistine Madonna? Allen. Michelangelo. Is Malay. Michelangelo is Malay. Let LA. Leonardo. Leonardo is Malay. Let me uh, continue with the question. Has a namesake who painted the Sistine Madonna in the School of Athens. Castle Steel. Okay. Wala na kasagot. Ang tamang sagot ay Raphael. Question number seven. Which actor is the leading man of Marian Rivera in the 2008 movie One True Love? Hindi na ata nila kay Dad. Okay, Riri. Ding dong dong. Sure ka ba? Yes, correct. <laughs> Ding dong Dantes is correct. Hey, check. But, but hindi ka sure. <laughs> okay, question number eight. What popular superhero goes by the name of Tony Stark as a private citizen? Allen. Iron Man. Iron Man is correct. Hey, check. In elementary science, what is a solid, liquid, or gas that possesses inertia and is capable of occupying space? Allen. Mass. 
Mas is mali. Ready? Matter. Matter is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. In basketball, how many quarters compose the first half? A. Four. Four. Four is mali. Allen. Two. Two. Two is correct. Okay, check. Question 11. In elementary math, what number is the greatest common factor of 32 and 48? Allen. Eight. Eight is mali. Riri. Two. Two is mali. LA. Four. Four is mali. A. Six. Six is, six is mali. Okay. So, wala na kukuha ng tamang sagot. The correct answer is 16. Okay. Last question for this round. Question number 12. In what town in Laguna was Jose Rizal born in 1861? LA. Kalamba. Kalamba is correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round number one. Let's do a recap. Sa ating first round, we have Allen with 60 points, followed by Riri with 20, LA with 10, and A with 0. Pwede ka pa humabol mamaya. Dalawa sa ating mga contestants today ay medyo chill dahil ang workout of choice nila ay walking. Okay, so ano ba yung nagagawa ng walking sa inyo? A and LA. Ang mga unique din ng names ninyo. A, 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 ikaw muna. Oh, for me, nakaka-distress lang. That's why I love walking. Wala akong titi mo sa UP. Wala pa ako na titi. Gisa okay. pa lang. <laughs> Kasi may walking. So, baka pwede mo rin i-enroll yun. Nakakailang yes. steps ka per day? Oh, my goal is always 10K. 10K. Okay. Ikaw naman, LA. Um, two points. It helps me physically, to be physically active. Tsaka, it helps me also mentally. Minsan, kung kailangan ko mag-disconnect or to reflect. Ayan. Lakad-lakad. Tapos with okay. music. <laughs> yes po. Ayan. Isa pang napansin ko rin sa bio naman ni Riri is talagang binanggit mo na isa sa mga favorite activities mo ay bonding with your cousins. Ba't ganun kahalaga sa iyo, Riri, yung mga pinsan mo? Ano po, pag kasama ko po sila, sobrang saya lang po namin. And kasi po ngayon po, parang kanya-kanyang schedule na po. So, minsan na lang po kami magsama-sama. And masaya po pag kasama ko sila. Ayan. Family first. So, we'll talk more later, pero kailangan na nating balikan ang ating competition sa ating round number two. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Ika po na tayo sa points. Leading pa rin si Allen with 60 points. Followed by Riri with 20, LA with 10, and A with 0. Na pwede pa humabol mamaya. But first, may tanong naman si Prof. Marian kay Allen. Okay, maganda yung course mo, education, right? Kasi kailangan din ng mas maraming teachers na magagaling. Pero plus pa, yung magaling sa Miss Universe, ha? na ikaw mag-train ng Q&A. <laughs> Pero bakit ka nahilig sa Miss Universe? Uh, ewan ko po, since nung nakita ko siya sa TV, tinuloy-tuloy ko na po. Kahit hindi live, makita ko lang siya sa Sundays Best. Masaya na ako. So ano feeling mo? Siningit lang ba si Miss Thailand? Or? Mahirap po sagutin, pero syempre po, as a Filipino, syempre, MMD tayo. Ayun. Okay. Ayan, and now it's time for round two. Ready na kayo? Okay. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Dahil ang correct answers ay worth 20 points. Pero kapag nagkamali ka, 10 points ang mababawas sa inyo. So, let's begin. Question number one. Which Philippine island is the fourth most populous island in the world? Allen. Luzon. Luzon is correct. Okay, check. Number two. Which popular web browser has the same name as a shiny metallic alloy? Allen. Chrome. Chrome or Google Chrome is correct. Okay, check. Number three. What form of carbon is the hardest known natural substance in the mosque? Allen. Diamond. Diamond is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. What is the shape of a cell in a beehive honeycomb? Really? 
Hexagon. Hexagon is correct. Key check. Question number five. Which elliptical amphitheater in the center of Rome is the largest ancient amphitheater ever built and is still the largest in the world today? Allen. The Colosseum. The Colosseum or Colosseum is correct. Key check. Question number six. What is the general type of rock that forms from molten material that cools and hardens? The correct answer is igneous. Alam mo dapat. Okay, sayang. Okay. Question number seven. In Greek mythology, who was the goddess of war, military victory, and wisdom, and the favorite daughter of Zeus? Starting with the letter A, the correct answer is Athena. Okay. Question number eight. What is the unit of food energy used in nutrition and is associated with food that is fattening? A. Calories. Calories or calorie is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. Which African-American politician became the president of the USA in 2009? A. Barack Obama. Barack Obama is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. In history, what do you call a system of political organization in Europe during the Middle Ages in which a vassal served a lord and received protection and land in return? Allen. Feudalism. Feudalism is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. What is the general term for the institution of the Catholic Church starting about the 12th century that tried and convicted enemies of the Church? The correct answer is Roman Inquisition or Inquisition. Last question for this round. In basketball, what team did Serbian player Nikola Jokic lead to the NBA championship in 2023? The answer is Denver Nuggets. And that's it for round two. Silipin natin ang lagay ng scores ng ating mga contestants. Nangunguna pa rin po si Allen with 160 points. Followed by A and Riri tied at 40 points. At si LA naman ay may 10 points. Pero hindi pa po tapos ang laban dahil susunod na ang ultimate pagalingan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back everyone. So bago tayo magpatuloy in an unprecedented move, okay? May katanungan daw si Prof Neil para kay Prof Gigi. Sir, ano okay. Ang tanong ko, madalas ko nakikita si Ma'am Gigi bilang supervisor ng show. Pero ngayon kasama namin siya sa show mm -hmm. bilang membro ng expert panel. Gusto kong malaman ano yung pakiramdam niya o ano yung pananaw niya kaugnay nito. Maganda ang experience. Natutuwa ako nakikita ko kayo eh, di ba? And excited ako, and I'm proud to be part of this panel. Kasi usually, ang tingin ng mga tao, mga academics, boring. Eh, hindi naman pala. Oh, di ba? So, tuwan-tuwa naman ako. Thank you for being here with us, di ba? So, thank you so much, no? Pero, bago tayo magpatuloy, recap muna tayo ng points natin. Once again, Allen is leading with 160 points. Tayo naman sa susunod na place, si A at si Riri with 40 points at si LA na may 10 points. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito po, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. So let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Let us begin. Let's start with Prof. Marian. Handa na ba kayo? Number one, a question from the panel. The Nobel Prize 
is given to those whose discoveries have the most profound benefits to humankind. It is awarded to researchers in the following field except A. Physics, B. Chemistry, C. Mathematics, D. Medicine, and E. Economics. So, Alfred Nobel was an inventor and industrialist. He was not particularly interested in this area and theoretical sciences. So, ang mga Nobel Prizes ay sa physics, chemistry, medicine, economics, literature, physiology, marriage, peace. So, ang hindi sinama ni, no ni Nobel, pero meron namang Fields Medal and Abel Prize for this field at nakakainis na wala dito unfair is mathematics. So, the answer is letter C, mathematics. Now we know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Prof. Marian. Prof. Neil, next po. Mga hindi ko alam yun. Akala ko wala lang nananalo sa mathematics sa Nobel Prize. Okay, yung susurot na tanong, Philippine Geography. Which of the following is not a mountain range on the island of Luzon? A. Caraballo Mountains B. Cordillera Central C. Halcon D. Sierra Madre E. None of the above Alin, Caraballo Mountains Mali Karamihan ng mga pinagpili ang option ay mga mountain range o kaya sa Filipino ang tawag natin ay bulubundukin. Pag bundok, ang tinutukoy natin, ang English equivalent na ito ay bundok. Ang tanging bundok sa listahan ay ang pinakamataas na bahagi ng Mimaropa. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Halcon. What is the name of the traditional Filipino martial art often incorporates movements likened to a dance? A. Karate B. Arnis C. Judo D. Taekwondo E. Kung Fu Arnis Arnis is characterized as a saber play that uses a pair of rattan canes. You're correct. So, K-check. Dr. Marian, back to you. Chemistry. Meron ba kayong chemistry? Which of the following chemical elements is a trans-uranium element? A. Rubidium B. Aluminum C. Uranium D. Plutonium and E. Beryllium Okay, mukhang nakakalito kasi puro yum yum pare-pareho lang yon. But when you say trans-uranium, this is any element that lies beyond uranium. In the periodic table, atomic number is more than that of uranium, which is 92. Magaan yung beryllium 4 lang, and rubidium is 37, aluminum is 13, plutonium is 94. The correct answer is Plutonium. Letter D. Thank you. Talk me and go ahead. Political science question. This pertains to a form of government that has three equal and interdependent branches. A. Constitutional. B. Democratic. C. Presidential. D. Unitary. E. Liberal Democracy. Mahira palang tanong yun. Okay? Bakas na bakas sa inyo mga mukha. <laughs> Mula pa sa pagtatatag ng Republika ng Malolos, hanggang sa ngayon, ang pamahala ng bansa ay may tatlong sangay. Executive, Legislative, Judiciary. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Presidential. Okay, magawin naman tayo sa arts and popular culture. Who directed the critically acclaimed Filipino movies like Nunal sa Tubig, City After Dark, 
relasyon. A. Lino Broca B. Ishmael Bernal C. Jose Javier Reyes D. Joel Lamangan E. Marilu Diaz Abaya His films are considered as social commentaries and reflections of the existing conditions of the struggle of the Filipino. Ishmael Bernal is the correct answer. Biology? Mahilig ba kayo sa pets? What is the common name of the furry house pet called Orictolagus coniculus? A. Rabbit B. Cat C. Guinea pig D. Dog or E. Gerbil Guinea pig Mali. E. Dog. Mali. Pwede pa umabal. Tuloy, natakot na yung iba. Jewels, <laughs> di ba? Okay, ang cat ay Felis Silvestris Catus. Okay, may Felis. Dog ay may, di ba? Canine kasi. Canis. Ang guinea pig ay Cavia porcelus at ang gerbil ay Meriones ungiculatus. So, cuniculus meaning small conduit or burrow. So, ang nagbabarrow, nangihiram, ay ang A, rabbit. <laughs> nangbabarrow, nangihiram. Okay? Thank you. Prof. Nia? Interesting yung tanong. Bagong dagdag na informasyon sa akin. Okay. So, ikatlong tanong mula sa akin, ano ang pinaka influential na bansa na kabilang ng Shia Islam o Shi Shiite Islam sa kasulukuyan? A. Iran B. Qatar C. Saudi Arabia D. United Arab Emirates E. Yemen Alin? Iran Naniniwala ang Shia Islam na ang marapat na successor kay Muhammad matapos siyang mamatay ay si Ali. Ipinamalas ng bansang ito ang impluensya sa iba't ibang bahagi ng kanlurang Asia na may malaking concentration ng Shiites. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Iran, K-check. Pero bago magtuloy, kailangan i-clarify mo yung borrow. Baka mangutang mo. Borrow, di ba? Borrow, di ba ang nagbabarrow, borrow, borrow, rabbit hole. So, joke lang po yung borrow. Okay. Sige, napronounce Sige, para magkaiba. Borrow and borrow. Yes. And borrow. Uh, uh, so, thank you. Who was the lead actress in the film Extra? Nora Honor, Lorna Tolentino, Vilma Santos, Janice... Vilma Santos. She portrayed a role of a bit player in a soap opera. It gives a glimpse of the ruling system of uh, the production and the exploitation of the marginalized laborers in the industry. <laughs> Vilma Santos is the correct answer. Kay check. Napakagandang movie ng extra. Prof. Yes. Marianne, for the last round. Gusto ko yung mag-extra. Sana naman itong last question, maka-extra kayo. Okay, please answer my question na ha. Magtatampo na ako. My fourth and last question for you. What is the common name, do you like trees, of the Philippine native tree known for its reddish hardwood and whose scientific name is Pterocarpus indicus? A. Talisay B. Nara C. Molave D. Acacia and E. Ilang-ilang Alin? Nara The Pterocarpus indicus is resilient, strong, enduring which signify the persistence of the Filipinos in their demand for freedom. So, it is meant to represent our cultural pride. Hence, it was declared the National Tree of the Philippines 
And the correct answer is Nara. Letter B. Okay, check. Maliban lang sa talisay, lahat yun pangalan ng dorm sa UP. Okay. Ano ang lalim na hugot? Pag pangalan ng kahoy, pa, uh, men's dorms. Then, pambabae naman, pag mga bulaklak. Pero ngayon, may back sa UP Diliman, yung mga dorms, kahit ang pangalan ay bulaklak, pwede na rin yung lalaki. So, nagulat ako. Yes. So, g- yes. Gender sensitive na. Ibang-iba na. Okay, so huling tanong mula sa akin. Which of the following is the home region of historical figures and cultural icons such as Nora Honor? Kanina may Vilma Santos. Ito may Nora Honor. Then Angela Manalang Gloria or Simeon Ola and Jose Ignacio Pawa. Isama pa natin sa listahan Wenceslao Vinsons. A. Bicol B. Calabarzon C. Central Luzon D. Ilocos E. Western Visayas Allen Bicol Bicol okay. Taga Bicol ka ba, Allen? Calabarzon at Bulacan po ah, Kala ko parang grabe yung kumpiyansa nung sumagot ka okay. Matatagpuan ang rehiyong ito sa timog na bahagi ng Luzon Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Bicol Okay, check. Last question. Last question. Who is the Filipino painter who led the revolutionary 13 moderns and who engaged their classical compatriots in heated debate over the nature and function of art? Jose Hoya, A, B, Victorio Edades, C, Roberto Chabet, D. Rodolfo Paras Perez E. Constancio Bernardo Mga naging professor ko pala dito eh, sa totoo lang <laughs> Oh my God! Okay, now That is the question He was named the national artist in 1976 Art critics considered Victorio Edades as the father of modern Philippine art. Thank you so much, Prof. Gigi. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Allen, our K-Check Daily winner, with a final score of 280 points. Congratulations. Okay, so we'll see you again, si Allen, on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Thank you also to A, to Riri, to LA, and of course to our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Gigi. I am Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check!